Good evening. The former SNP leader Alex Salmond has said a second referendum on Scottish independence is inevitable. He said the decision on when to hold it was up to his successor Nicola Sturgeon, prompting the party's opponents to call for clarity. Here's our political reporter Andrew Black. Last September's independence referendum may not have gone the SNP's way, but since then the party's experienced a massive surge in members and parliamentarians. And along with that has come speculation that another vote on Scotland's future could be on the horizon. SNP leader Nicola Sturgeon says she's not currently planning another referendum, but could comments made today by her predecessor suggest otherwise? Oh, I think a second independence referendum is inevitable. The question, of course, is, is not the, the inevitability, it's, a, it's the timing, and that is very much in the hands of, uh, of Nicola Sturgeon. Here's what Nicola Sturgeon previously said about the last referendum. Well, I, mean, I think the SNP have always uh, said that, in our view, these kind of referendums are once-in-a-generation events. This is a, probably a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for Scotland. That, along with Alex Salmon's intervention, has prompted questions from opponents. Who's the real leader of the SNP here? Is it Alex Salmon who's demanding uh, that, that the uh, timetable and that the proposals for a new referendum come forward? Or is it Nicola Sturgeon who he's now putting pressure on to come forward with those particular proposals and excuses? We need some clarity. Mr Salmon suggested three potential triggers for another referendum. Failure by the UK government to deliver a major new Scottish powers, a vote to leave the EU and further Westminster spending cuts. He also reckons holding another vote on Scotland's future is a matter of when, not if. Andrew Black, Reporting Scotland.